was too mad at dumb teachers you eat five. Mm. 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 Damn it. Why? Yeah, I might smell bold light. It's at the end of the world. Anyway. Let's get started. We're just gonna do some brush modeling. Or brush editing. So in your place actors tab, just go here where it says geometry. I'm gonna grab this cone on the Z on the Z on the sides where it says eight. I'm gonna make it sixteen so that way it looks a little more rounded out. Then I'm going to scale this out, and now I get to duplicate this. I'll scale this in. Why are you duplicating it? So we can hollow it out. I don't want to take on the hollow box. So I'm going to scroll where it says, see where it says additive? Click that little drop down menu. Click on subtractive. And we got ourselves a little tent. How do we make the door? And that's where the box comes in. The box. Uh, I'll scale it on the Z and on the Y axis. I'll scale this down. You can mess with these numbers, but I'm, 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 I, God, I could care less. Uh, let's move this down. Let's move this here so it's in between. And I'll rotate this like that. This end and that there. Scale and some more. And then we make it subtractive. Boom. So we have our interior. Hey, 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 hey! Let me do that scaling. So we have our interior. That's that. I'm gonna show off how to texture this thing. But first, I need a cigarette. Don't smoke, kids. So, how we texture things is we go. Do I have any textures? 2D. No, I do have 2D textures. Oh, wow, I have crap. I'll just right click and materialize this thing. Really? Yeah. I'm just gonna give this thing a grassy material. So I'm just gonna click on the sides. I'm gonna hit Shift W, select all the walls, and I th the interior should be fine. But uh, I think the interior has been selected as well. It doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna click, drag this in, boom. Hey, I said Shift W. Fine, you want to do that? I'm gonna hit Shift B to select the entire to the the entire geometry brush. Boom. Ew. Well, at least the interior is okay. Yeah. I'm gonna hit Shift B on the interior and give it a different material. Uh, I'll use this one. And then just click and drag it in. Can you do some? Can you actually do a uh, a material uh, like a material tutorial? I'll do that. Shift W and Shift B. Well, you, thank you. There. Thank you. Now we have an interior and an exterior material. Is that it? I thought we were going to have an NPC conversation thing. We will. I just have to see what kind of content we got. So I'm just going to use, in all honesty, I'm just going to use the mannequin. I'm going to have two different types of mannequins. Uh, one, like, just different colors. Okay. So, is this it? I mean, technically speaking, yeah. I'll have a material tutorial lined up, but the material tutorial in and of itself is, uh, yeah. So how, so how do you hollow this out? Uh, okay, so, if we wanted to, like, hollow out a level, right, like, use nothing but brush editing, which is possible, uh, it's just kind of looked down upon. I mean, I use brush modeling, so I can't necessarily... I'm not gonna judge anyone that does it. So, right now the texture is stretching a lot, but that's because we scaled it. Uh -huh. So if we go, we scroll. I gotta. Give me a sec. Yeah, click on um one of the one of the faces. There we go. 
this is what we need. Wow. So if we want to tile this, right? Because we can't. I'm not gonna use. I'm not gonna tile this because it's 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 not it's not noticeable. So I intentionally scaled this up as well so we can tile this. Uh, see where it says the scaling on the U and the V. So we can like uh, if the smaller the what's the what I'm looking for. The smaller the number, the the more tiles. Oh, okay, yeah. Are you gonna do what the other sides? Yeah, I mean, it's just the again, it's just not noticeable. If I slap this grass texture on the thing, it's not gonna be very noticeable. So, I need something that actually tiles more. Give me a sec. City sample vehicle, new material. Anything? Anything? Oh man. I don't know. So I'm gonna now nah, using the default to use the default material works just as well anyway. So how so if we tile this out, can we tile uh are we can we tile this more or can we pan it? Yeah. You see how it's seen the pan rotate? We can literally just move it. And if you want to move it in the opposite direction, hold down the shift key. Like, was it shift or control? I'm trying to remember, or do you just oh, you can just click up. Oh, yes, it used to be shift, but it looks like you can just click on the thing to screw with its rotation now, or screw with the direction now. To pen the textures, etc. When am I gonna have the NPC? We'll have it next week. We'll actually have we'll actually have it move randomly. So that means we have to add uh, a thing. Are you gonna do a boat? I still haven't experimented with buoyancy that much. So let's actually hollow this out. So I'm gonna grab another box, make it subtractive. Just move this in. Well, technically speaking, the only reason why I'm like hesitant right now, the only reason why I'm like low energy right now is because I did this tutorial already when um, when I first showed the UE5 bits. So. And if you want to have interconnecting rooms, you can. So I'll just upgrade this on the X to make the wall deeper. And you can just do whatever you want here. Are you going to have this in the building? Is this going to be in the game? It, this will just be randomly here for no, for no freaking reason. Either way. Like, that's how you do brush modeling. And if you want to, like, have multiple rooms. If you want to just copy paste, but don't want to copy paste, hold down Alt, click, and drag it up, and we made a duplicate. Oh, okay, yeah. And you can use just about any shape. In fact, you can literally. Um, where is it? In, you see brush type? Click on this drop down menu, and you can use whichever one. So like it's a cherry joke. What happened? It just uh, it just reset its size to its default value. Even if you go here, screw with the numbers, and make it a, like a, just a, another cube, see how it resets back to its original position? Oh, shit. Yeah, that just happens. You're just going to have to screw with the numbers and fuck with it your own way. But, yeah. Mm. That's about all there is to it. I might have do some material effects, in all honesty, but, I oh. But let's get to the meat potatoes bit, where we just have an NPC that we can talk to. That's it. Okay. Uh, and a dear narrator. And there you have it, game developers. Tune in next week for Matt Hen... Matt Hen... You know, you really should call it Matt Hen Teaches. Doug Teaches. Okay, Doug Teaches UE5. Yes. Boop.